Hi, my name's Xteen. I've challenged myself to cook something different every day for 30 days. Today is day 21, and I'm going to be making the New York Times pesto beans recipe. The New York Times recently published a list of their 50 greatest hits recipes. Uh, this is not one of those. This didn't make the list, oh. but after they published that list, readers wrote in and apparently there was much outrage and they said, you missed all of these recipes and this is one of the recipes that the New York Times missed. So it's not a greatest hits, but it's greatest that was left off the greatest hits list. Yay! I guess a simpler way to say that is that it's a reader favorite. I am a certified bean girl and I also had tons of basil growing in my backyard. So this recipe is a perfect choice for a night like tonight. Let's see how it is. Sometimes I have beef with the New York Times recipes, just like minor beef. But since this is a reader favorite, maybe it'll just be delightful. I've already prepped a bunch of ingredients before we begin, and here they are. Like so many recipes before us, we're going to begin by drizzling olive oil into the skillet. The recipe calls for six tablespoons, but I didn't feel like measuring it out, so I just coated the bottom of the pan. Now I'm supposed to be adding one fourth cup of pine nuts, although I didn't measure these out either. Let these cook for about five minutes over medium low heat, stirring occasionally until they turn golden brown. Then switch off the heat and add one half teaspoon of turmeric. Stir that in and then transfer to a small bowl. We're going to drizzle this over our finished pesto beans later as a fun little topping. Now drizzle more olive oil into the same pan, about two tablespoons this time. Add two cups of thinly sliced shallots, a little salt, and cook over medium-high heat for three-ish minutes until they start to get soft. Make sure to stir. Next, we're adding in five thinly sliced garlic cloves, and then cannellini beans, two 15-ounce cans worth, drained and rinsed. And then one cup of vegan chicken broth. The recipe calls for either chicken stock or vegetable broth, and I split the difference. Once it's simmering, turn the heat down to low. This recipe comes at you fast once you start cooking, so I would definitely recommend having all your ingredients prepped beforehand, or your mise en place, as they say. Once you're in the pan, let's go, 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 baby. Go, go, go. Also, the first sentence of step three of the recipe says, in a few additions, it just starts with, in a few additions, sprinkle in the cheese, stirring vigorously to combine. And I don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna assume that they mean in a few minutes. You gotta proofread. You gotta proofread. It's been a few additions, so it's time to add in the Parmesan cheese. The recipe calls for one cup of finely grated Parmesan, and uh-oh, I didn't measure this either. Stir that in to get a delightfully cheesy, creamy sauce going. It's all happening now, folks. Switch off the heat and start tearing up basil and dropping it right into the beans. The recipe calls for one and a half cups of tightly packed basil leaves and you guessed it, I didn't exactly measure this out either. But this is the kind of ingredient that you should really tailor to your personal preference anyway, and I just grabbed most of what was growing in my backyard. Stir that in and let it wilt. And now we're basically done. Just scoop yourself some of these very attractive beans. Drizzle the roasted pine nuts in oil over top and then add a little more fresh grated parm if you like to have a good time. Okay, it's very beautiful. I'm feeling really good about this. I feel like it might also be this reader's favorite. That is yummy, delicious. I'm going to go to town on this. Aside from not really measuring the oil, I did not deviate from the recipe at all. So that's kind of a first for me and the New York Times recipes. Oh my God, I just realized I forgot to squeeze a lemon on top. Um, 
you're supposed to do that. So I did deviate from the recipe, but I'm gonna do it now. I'm just not gonna film it. Just know that I squeezed a lemon on top and it'll probably make it even more delicious. <laughs> okay, bye.